Guns and Tactics 2018 SHOT Show coverage is brought to you by CMC Triggers and AccuTac Precision Bipods. Hey guys, Dave Tim here covering SHOT Show 2018 for GunsandTactics.com. Make sure you're following us for all your SHOT Show coverage. We are here in the Seekins Precision booth with Glenn Seekins going over some exciting new products. Glenn, thank you very much for spending a few yeah, minutes. Thanks. thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. And the pre-SHOT Show buzz that you guys were sending out about these new products kind of had me excited, so you sure. guys were a must-stop for me. Absolutely. So what do we got here? Uh, this is our new Havoc rifle. So this year, you know, we put a lot of effort into our bolt rifles, so we came out with two additional Havoc rifles um, as well as some magazine systems systems and some magazines and a new stock. This is our new Pro 1. It's built to, to compete in the production series for the PRS or just uh, everyday rifle for, for just having fun. Yeah, somebody's so. just looking for a quality bolt yeah. gun. What kind of yeah. prices are we looking at for the entry level guns? Uh, this guy's going to, you know, street price on this be right around 1900 bucks. Yeah, very competitive for a high quality bolt action Absolutely. gun. 700 yeah. pattern action for stocks. Yeah, it's really, really close to a 700 pat pattern action. It takes a 700 trigger and it will take 700 bottle metal. Other than that, it's not a 700, but all those all those nice things yeah. will work with it. So now speaking of bottom metal, yeah, one of the other things we mentioned uh, in your pre-announcements was some new bottom metal for that precision rifle market. Absolutely. So we shoot a lot of three-gun competition. So we're used to high-end 1911s or 2011s and uh, fancy Glock pistols and things like that. So coming back into the PRS stuff, yeah, you know, it was apparent to us that you know, there's these magazine systems, but they're just a magazine system. It doesn't do anything else but hold a magazine. It doesn't help you change the magazine. Uh, there's no, there's no big feed ramp on the bottom of it. Yeah, now look at this. Right. So that's what you get when you have a custom pistol. Yeah. So why not on a custom bolt rifle? So we have an enhanced magwell. Yep. We have an easy to find magazine release. Absolutely. Look at that. There's a barricade stop on the front. Okay. It's an M5 pattern. So if you've already got an M5 stock. You can get our bottom metal, put it in. I think this guy retails around 180. Well, so just it's about, really affordable. Yeah, every stock manufacturer already inlets for M5, so Absolutely. it's a, a very common pattern. So I think Absolutely. it's really smart to do that. Looks really nice. What is it Thank made you. out of? It's made out of billet aluminum. Nice, nice looking piece here. So it's nice, lightweight. So that's you know that's kind of what we did with the bolt rifle stuff. Um, a lot of people said, hey, you guys are an AR company. What, what happened with the ARs, you know? Yeah. And uh, a lot of people thought we lost focus or, or we just kind of abandoned that stuff, but that's not the case at all. Yes, yeah, so we have a new stock for the AR. We do. So we uh, we started a, kind of like a new company within okay. called Professional Composites. Okay. So we did a bolt rifle stock out of carbon fiber, um, and then uh, we did this little gem here. This is our 10X precision rifle stock for our gas guns. Nice. So it's completely adjustable. You've got a, uh, a little button right here. Okay. You just loosen this button up. Yep. You depress that, you can change the height of the cheek piece and then lock it back down. It's completely solid. Okay. So this is not meant to quick on the fly adjust. And most of us that shoot precision rifle with the gas gun, we don't want anything to move. Yeah. So so that's how the cheek, cheek is adjustable. The butt pad, mm -hmm. it's a spacer system. So okay. you just take the screws out, add spacers, put it back together. Okay. So it's got a couple of QD points in it, two in the front, one in the back. Yeah. Looks nice. What's retail going to be on this? Uh, retail on that's 189. Okay. Availability? Availability should be late February. You should be see you should see it shipping to all the dealers and distributors late February. Nice. So we have the QD sockets, the adjustable cheek piece. Right. A hook for the hand for yep. that support and a spacer system for the butt pad. Yeah, you got a little bit of an angle here to for your bag rider. Nice. So that's uh that's our biggest thing that we did for the AR platform this year. And then uh, this fits on AR-15s or AR-10 platforms. Okay. So rifle link buffer system, you're good to go. Nice. And the one thing that I personally was most excited about is this guy, this gas block. Yeah. And I shoot suppressed, and okay. I know that finding a great, durable, robust, adjustable gas block that isn't necessarily geared from the competition market with those fine adjustments, but something that's kind of more sure. you know, large adjustment, and we have this lever system here. Tell me a little bit about this gas block. All right, so I also shoot suppressed a lot. Yeah. And I also shoot subsonic or supersonic with three in a blackout. So it's pretty apparent to me that the adjustable gas blocks that are on the market that are toolless, mm -hmm. they're fairly predetermined. So they might have four different settings on them. But it's just one, two, three, four. But it's one, two, three, four. You can't individually tune, you can't adjust your gun perfectly to whatever you're shooting. Sure. So the way this guy works, You've got the lever that mm -hmm. attaches to the gas shaft. Okay. You detach the lever. You can 
infinitely adjust your gas. Okay. Excuse me. You can shut it all the way off, and then you've got about 40 different positions on the way out. So you, so the idea here is you adjust your gas, get it where you want it, add one click, and then you lock the lever down to the shaft. When you lock the lever to the shaft, now you have a toolless feature to adjust the gas on the fly. And that's what this lever is here. Absolutely. And we can just make these adjustments. Right. So if you're if you're shooting suppressed, yep. You take this guy, loosen your lever, adjust your adjust your gas where you want it. Yep. Then you lock this lever over here on the left side. Okay. Then as you shoot, you say your gun's getting dirty or you're running out of lube or whatever, you can simply just add a click. So you can just add a little bit more gas. And that'll maybe open. Get, it's going to open, yeah, more gas, more gas flow. Okay. So then if, uh, let's say your suppressor gets muddy or whatever, you want to take it off, put it on a different gun, you still want to shoot this one, all you got to do is flip this aside, now you have plenty of gas. Or if you're shooting unsuppressed or whatever particular exactly. situation you, wanna, you have. Yeah, yeah if you want to shoot unsuppressed, you just flip this side. Uh, the other cool thing is it works the same way with a suppressed 300 blackout. Nice. So suppressed 300 blackout, everybody wants to shoot subsonics, and then, you know, if you're a pig hunter or something like that. They want that more energy, they're going to go you super. You want more energy, you want supers. So with this system, you can shoot both suppressed. So you adjust it for your supersonic ammo, so where you need the le least amount of gas. And then if you want to shoot subs, you just flip the switch over, put your subs in, and away you go. Nice. What is retail and availability going to be on the block? Retail, 119. Nice. And they're in stock. Awesome. And so 119 for an adjustable, a quality adjustable gas block is very competitive, especially yeah, one that, absolutely. you know, it's kind of a, I don't want to call it gross adjustments, but so many of them, you need a tool, you need to bring your Allen wrench or whatever, yeah. whereas here, if you just had this exposed or maybe you did some milling on your handguard, you just get right in there and yeah, make absolutely. your adjustments. So. We'll have some handguards out that, okay. that uh, are built around this gas block. Okay. Uh, the other option is we have a short lever, so if you want to just have a stop in there, you can adjust it, put your handguard over the top of it, and then access it with a tool. But the nice thing with that is if you're shooting suppressed or unsuppressed or supers or subs, you won't get lost. Nice. So it's just gonna go over and stop. That's one setting, go over the other side, that's another setting. I like it. For more information about your company and these new products, what is the webpage where our viewers can get more information? Best place to go is SeekinsPrecision.com. Excellent. SeekinsPrecision.com. We'll put a link on the video screen right now. Glenn, thank you very much for hey, spending some Thanks time. For me. Really enjoyed the new products. Guys, for all your SHOT Show 2018 coverage, make sure you're checking out GunsAndTactics.com and following us on all of our social media platforms. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for all the updates. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.